Okay, here I have a Eureka Mignon Note grinder. And, um, oops, I remember having this issue a long time ago and I saw somebody else was um, still coming across the same issue. There's no good answer on the internet. Seems like everybody always mentions the problem, but doesn't actually show the resolution. Um, so in these Eureka Mignon grinders, there's a little set screw that goes in here. Um, sadly, I lost mine. I actually have this single dose hopper I've been putting in, but um, I know some people are still using the, the attached uh, hopper. And um, it's, this is a very deceptive design. So um, you, you'll have your screw in here, and if you take it out, then it's really hard to put in because the screw doesn't set or anything. There's just no obvious way to really see how you put this in and then the screw goes in and stays. It doesn't actually do that. Um, if you look really close and at an angle, see if we can actually get an angle here just right. Um, right, right about there. You see that little shiny piece of metal? Well, this is where the trick comes in. I just remember how to do it. So you take the grinder and then make sure you have some extra cable room or whatever. I really don't. I'm just trying to get this done cheaply. You flip the grinder. Yep, like that. You flip the grinder upside down and then go ahead and look in here again. Go ahead and pull it in. And then you'll see that the nut appeared, right? That wasn't there before. So now you can take your screw and you can screw that in right there. And then your hopper will get held in place. Um, I, don't, I don't have my screw to demonstrate it, but you have to trust me on this. Um, turn your grinder upside down, the nut appears, screw it back in, and your hopper will remain in place. And that's all you need to do.